Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Airtable for real estate. So the first thing you want to do is just when you're going to be in Airtable, you want to click on the templates next to the basis. Click on the templates. Here you're going to find and search for real estate. Here you're going to find um, transaction management, real estate, home showing planner. So we can like go with transaction management, home showing, or even the real estate marketing manager. Okay. So there are like multiple of these that you can use and choose. So in the moment when I'm going to click here on a real estate home showing, we can even see uh, what you can actually find here. So here you can have home showing planner template based on which uh, you would have a stage here. So let's say need review, tour, third, shortlist, needs review, right? And then contacts of people that you need to contact. So this is the first way what you can do. But let's say that you're looking for a real estate CRM that you can use. And here I can go with like this one here, the transaction management template, and I can click use template. I'm going to add it to base. This really depends like, so let me down below in comments. If you're looking for real estate CRM, if you're looking for real estate CRM, I can also do this and I'm going to show you one of the CRM that you can use for real estate in Airtable. So here I have the properties and what I can find here. So I have a property, then I have a neighbor, suite floor, and if it's in development type, if it's a, like, let's say a sublease or direct data available term, square feet, interactions and transactions. So here you would have properties that you can easily add with flyer, site plan and everything. Then you're going to find the contacts here. So here you have contacts and you would have uh, like you got already the filters by clients, by attorneys. So that's something you can do and that's something really effective. Then you're going to find the interactions. So interactions can be, so let's say this is a function, a formula. So I can click here, open it, and we can go, it's a door, date, I can connect it with the contact, and that's pretty much it, right? I can add record. So right now we have the contact tour, uh, it is day in X Buxton, in S Buxton. So this is how we can have the interactions also. So this is pretty straightforward and pretty easy how we can use. And these two um, are good. Now it really depends what you need, right? So I can click here on the transactions. And here I can see, so I have the active one, lease agreement, owner, other broker, client tenant, tenant's attorney, landlord's attorney, meet with the attorney, a lease agreement sent. So you get all the things here. Now I can active to deal terms, active players. So I can see the name and then I got to see the broker, the client tenant, tenant's attorney, landlord's attorney, and I can have it all in my contacts, right? See right here. So this is how we can use it. Maybe I'm going too fast, but you need to really play around with it, how we can use it. Um, you got it all, got everything covered here. So this is another, like the second one that I wanted to show you, but also the third one is if you're going to use it for a CRM and I'm going to click here and write CRM. And you're going to have the cell CRM right here. And I can use template.
at the base. So in the moment when you're going to be here, uh, you're going to find all opportunities. So these would be the opportunities that you have, right? So let's say, for example, uh, selling a home. But you need to edit that. You can have the group by the owner. Then you're going to find also the sales pipeline here. Then you're going to find the qualification, proposal, evaluation, negotiation, closed one, closed lost. So all the opportunities that you would add, you would find right here. And you could easily uh, combine these opportunities, interaction and accounts with your other template. But if you want me to, guys, I can create a complete new tutorial. It's going to take me like one hour. And I would create it like ultra effective CRM for real estate. So let me down below in the comments if you'd like me to create a CRM like that, because this is something that we can use. They directly create it. But I can create a complete new one that is going to be so damn effective and goddamn. So I can have group by the owner, value by stage, close one, close lost. Now, then I have also interaction here. So I have calls and meetings here that I can simply remove the grouping and I can have interaction here, type, uh, pricing discussion, date, and I can add a status or uh, like a person, opportunity, contact, right? And this is how we can do it. So then you're going to find the account It's like name of the company and contacts. So this is good for sales CRM directly. Uh, Airtable is good. What I showed you before, but I think I can make it even better. So let me down in the comments if you like, and I can create it. You can always check other, like, let's say I have the simple sales and you can always see if it's going to be <clears throat> great one. So I have the deals here. I have the contacts here, the product, which can be like, let's say a properties interactions. And this one, the simple sell CRM is a good way how we can start personally. So I would have a contact. I would have a name of the listings here where I can add a listing pictures type, but you need to change everything here. So again, let me down below in the comments if you like to have a real estate CRM and I can create it for you. It's going to take me a little bit of time, but I think it's going to be worth it if you want to use our table for CR for a real estate CRM. So yeah, other than that, for real estate, it's pretty good. The templates that you have here, if you're not looking for CRM. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope it gave you a little bit of value what you can do. Then you're going to have also the real estate marketing. You have the properties and you have the acting listing features, active listing finances. So this is pretty great. Like when I'm going to use the template here, sun, we add a base. And here, look at this. So I have properties, which can be the property type, active, neighborhood. Then I'm going to find the property gallery. And in all properties, I can easily add a property, add a status, a photo, a neighborhood, and you can add the neighborhoods, marketing owner, Listing start, listing expire. And you get really like price now, start price, price change, days of to expiration, days to market. So you can cover it really well. 
And this, like this template is pretty great for marketing management, if you're looking for it, of course. So I would recommend also checking this one that you can use. And that's pretty much it. So we will just simply add a new property, or well, let's say, Waddle Lane. Yeah, I'm going to remove the sorted here. Other lane, I can choose if it's going to be uh, under contract. Then I can drop the files of a house. I can simply add a listing. Start here, price now. Square feet, acres, beds, baths. School district, so everything here. And then you're going to find always the finances here. And the marketing checklist by people who got assigned listing lounge and that's pretty much it so thank you very much guys for watching this was just introduction to the templates on Airtable, what you can use for real estate if you want me to create like a let's say for marketing real estate i'm going to do it just let me down below in the comments thank you have a great day and goodbye see ya